Guys, welcome to Arikok National Park. This is the only national park in Aruba and it covers 10% of the island. Whether you've been here before or this is your first time here, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name is Milo and I do travel and lifestyle vlogs. This is the fourth and final episode of my Aruba travel series. In case you missed one of the episodes, I'll link them up in the description box below. There are many natural spots to visit in Arikok National Park. Here, you'll fall in love with Aruba's desert-like ecosystem and its natural beauty. The best ways to experience this national park is with your own car or by booking a Jeep or 4x4 tour with one of the many tour operators in the island. Nonetheless, I highly suggest you wear comfortable clothes and shoes as there is some hiking involved which you'll experience a little bit with me in this video. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and the best way to support me and my work is by subscribing to the channel. So hit the subscribe button as well. All right, guys, so we just made it to the Arikok National Park here in Aruba. And just so you guys know, the entrance is $11 per person and they give you this map so you can guide yourself inside the park. Remember, this park, it's huge. It covers 10% of the island. So come here with some time. If you guys wanna to go to the natural pool, then that has to be done with a four x four or a Jeep. And if you don't have the Jeep, then it's about a four hour hike, which is a little bit too much for us right now. As you guys can see, it's raining. guys so when you come to the Arikok National Park in your car just so you guys know right now we rented what's something similar to a Chevy Spark or a Nissan Versa and as you guys can tell the road it's a little bit tricky so just be careful when you're driving here not to just go full pedal on it but take your time and obviously enjoy the views okay guys so another thing that's super interesting about aruba is how quickly the climate changes right now it's raining mm, kind of hard just wanted to show you guys these incredible views here of arikok and on top of that i want to share with you guys that a local species of snakes here is the rattlesnake and the funds that they get from the entrance fees that they charge they use them to keep count of how many rattlesnakes are in the island. On top of that, they also have another issue with boas because they were brought here to the island and now they have, instead of just one snake species to deal with, they have two different snake species to deal with. So, pretty interesting. Check this out. Hopefully you guys can hear me well because it's incredibly windy today but I wanted to welcome you guys to the famous Boca Prince Beach here in Arikok National Park and just so you guys know this is a very famous beach because a lot of important photo shoots have taken place here hopefully I can fly the drone I'm not sure because again it's very windy but if not check these images out
say that we have to take care of our planet. We have to be a little bit more cautious of what we do with all of our waste because I have seen bottles, plastic all over. And that's not necessarily because people that come here throw it out here. It's actually waste that the water from the ocean brings into the beach, which again, it's terrible. So guys, take care of take care of your waste. This place is unbelievable. It literally took my breath away and it's just amazing though the things that nature does that nature gives you it's just unbelievable Guys, we're still here in Addicox National Park and as you guys can see it is incredibly beautiful. Just the different landscapes between the ocean views and the desert like landscapes out here is just so unique and so surreal. But it doesn't stop there because there are actually caves in the national park as well that you can enter, snap photos and we are about to enter one of them. It's called Quadirikri Cave and let's see what it holds inside. Let's check it out. It is incredibly hot in here and with the mask on I can't even tell you it's crazy but we're here because there is actually a little legend or myth behind the Quadirikri caves and here it goes the myth says that a few well not a few but a long time ago one of the caciques which is one of the chief tribes here um, decided to hide his daughter in this cave because she fell in love with a man he didn't approve of. Now, that's obviously a myth, it's a legend, it's something that locals like to tell tourists just to have some fun with them. There's no factual information that that actually happened, but I guess that just adds to the magic of this place. By the way guys, if you are scared of bats or don't like bats, this could be a tricky spot because obviously it is filled with bats they fly around you i haven't seen that many maybe because of the time of the day but i'm pretty sure if you come early in the morning or late in the afternoon you'll see a little bit more of them so my advice is if you're afraid of bats get here around 10 45 11 a.m so you don't see as many we all come to aruba to enjoy the sun and its beaches but let's say you forgot your sunblock and something like this happened well then you're in luck because aloe vera it's one of the main products of aruba so to learn a little bit more about the different uses the different products that is made out of this plant which is also known as savila in spanish i decided to bring you guys along a tour of aruba aloe which is a company here in aruba that's been working with the plant for over 130 years just so you guys know aloe vera made it to the island about 200 years so they got some pretty good experience with the plant let's go The aloe vera plant made it to Aruba from Africa about 200 years ago, and it rapidly became one of the island's major industries. 
It became so important that it was added to Aruba's National Coat of Arms. Aruba Alo has been working with it for more than 130 years. In the beginning, only the iodine from the plant, which has laxative properties, was commercialized. Today, the gel inside the plant is used to make all kinds of cosmetic products. The factory offers free guided tours where they will show you how the gel is extracted from the plant, take you to a museum that shows the history of aloe vera in Aruba, and take you around the factory so you'll see it while it's operating. Unfortunately, I decided to stop by on a Sunday and the factory workers, well, they were resting at home. But I assure you, if you stop by during regular business hours from Monday through Friday, you'll see the factory in full effect. The following morning, I headed out to Palm Beach to do one of my favorite things, explore the underwater world. Well, kind of. You see, I'm not a certified diver yet, so I had to stick with snorkeling. To do this, I decided to book a catamaran tour with Pelican Adventures Aruba. My advice is to book the tour at their kiosk located in Palm Beach, as it cost me a few dollars less than booking it online. The tour was about 4 hours long, it cost about $80 per person, and it included breakfast, lunch, open bar, snorkeling, and snuba gear. It made three different stops to snorkel, including the famous Antilla shipwreck. Aruba is one of the best places in the world to dive and practice snorkeling. It has a ton of shipwrecks that, with time, nature has turned them into reefs full of life. The best thing is that some of these are very accessible as they are close to the coast. One of them is the Antilla shipwreck. The Antilla was a German ship from 1939 which was captured in Dutch waters during World War II. Its own crew sunk the ship to avoid giving it up to their enemies. Okay guys, to finish up the day here in Aruba, we decided to come to the California Lighthouse. Now, among the locals and now the tourists, this is the most popular spot and apparently it's the best spot to see the sunsets here in Aruba. hundred years there was a ship named the California. That ship was famous because it was one of the few ships that heard the Mayday signals from the Titanic before it sunk. Unfortunately the radio operator was asleep and the signals were never heard. To add up to that bad luck, the California ended up sinking a few years later in front of the coast of Aruba. And as a way to remember the ship and to commemorate the ship, Aruba named the lighthouse the California Lighthouse. There is a restaurant right next to the California Lighthouse called Taro Blanco. 
This is an Italian restaurant that you have to try when you come to Aruba. But before, make sure to make a reservation because this is one of the best restaurants in town. Prices, it can be a little bit pricey. I actually spend about $60 for lunch and over $100 for dinner. But believe me, it is totally worth every single penny. From the views to the service, the food is just impeccable. Definitely a must try when you visit Aruba. Aruba has so many beautiful things to see and do that's just impossible to see it or do it all in one day. If your stay in Aruba isn't long enough and you'd like to experience the island as much as possible, then I can confidently say that with this itinerary, you'll get to experience a lot of it. By the way, let me know in the comments which of these activities would you like to do. Guys, thank you so much for watching the last episode of my Aruba travel series. Remember that all episodes will be linked in the description box in case you missed them. On the other hand, if you have been following along my Aruba travel series week after week, I'd like to thank you. Thank you for your time, for liking and commenting the videos. Thank you for your support. I truly hope you had a great time with us in Aruba. This is a beautiful country rich in history and with lots of things to offer. If you enjoyed or learned something new in any of my videos from Aruba, then hit the like button and share them. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with my daily adventures and to see more of this paradise. Remember, you haven't seen my best or my worst video yet, so subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And with that, from Aruba, also known as the One Happy Island, I'll see you guys in the next video.